why we feel the way we do. Do you ever wonder why you feel the way you do? Emotions don't just happen. The brain processes external and internal messages and sends signals to other parts to form emotions and thoughts. The brain is a complex machine, evolved over eons with the goal to survive. The simplest brain belongs to the reptile. It serves basic living functions and simple behaviors such as feed, avoid threats, reproduce. There's no emotions, no thoughts, no second guessing. As creatures evolved, so did the brain. The mammal brain still looks to survive. The process is more complex and involves emotions. The outcome behaviors increase survival chance, not only of the individual mammal, but also of the herd. The human brain gets hardware upgrades from the reptile and mammal brains in the form of the neocortex. It is responsible for cognition and intelligence. The remnant of the reptile brain in our brain is the brainstem and the cerebellum, which oversees basic living functions. The mammal brain within our brain is the limbic system. It is the center for emotions. These structures communicate with one another constantly by chemicals called neurotransmitters. Each neurotransmitter has its own functions. All aim to increase survival. Dopamine causes good feelings when you find what you seek. Dopamine surges when a caveman sees opportunities for food. If the caveman's actions lead to success, dopamine surge makes him happy, and he repeats the same actions. We are no longer cavemen, but dopamine surges still happen when we are satisfied by what we want. It is important for motivation. But too much of it can cause gambling and addictive behaviors. Oxytocin increases trust and bonding. It surges in women shortly before and after giving birth. The baby also experiences the surge. Oxytocin creates the bond between the mother and the newborn. The helpless newborn relies on the mother's protection. This helps the survival of the species. Oxytocin makes us feel safe and loved. It encourages social activities and strengthens relationships. The circuits that helped cavemen survive are still alive and well in our brain. We don't run down the mammoths or live in caves anymore, but the circuits still scan for survival opportunities. Bad feelings and unhealthy habits often happen because the limbic system reacts to what it feels as threats and what it feels could increase survival. It may seem our brain is hardwired for millions of years of evolution but the human brain has much more room for new circuits. With training, the neocortex can override responses from the limbic system and create healthier pathways. So now when you feel bad, you are aware of the inner workings of the brain. Bad feelings just don't come out of nowhere. There's a cause, which means there's a solution. And you are born with the tools to improve. All you need is the manual. Awareness is the first chapter. You are in control. Here's to positive feelings, happy thoughts, and healthier habits. To learn more, check out other stories in Nama Library.